Okay, so the question was asking us to determine the radius of a stable moon orbit, okay? So from the question, we know there are a thousand kilograms of, of electrons will transfer from Earth to the moon. That means the number of electrons was transferred is equal to the total mass of electron divided by the individual mass of the electron, which is a thousand kilograms divided by uh, 9.11 times 10 to the power of negative 31 kilograms, okay? And this will give us the amount of electron was transferred is about 1.1 times 10 to the power of 33. Therefore, the total charges of, of uh, these electrons is the number of electrons times the individual charge of the electrons, which is 1.6 times 10 to the uh, power of 19 coulombs, okay? So this will, will give us 1.1 times 10 to the power of uh, 33 times 1.6 times 10 to the power of 19 coulombs, which is equal to 1.76 times 10 to the power of 14 coulombs, okay? So, well, remember the moon was on orbit around the Earth. Let me draw a picture. So it's something like this. And oops. let's say the moon is uh, rotating at this point, and center of Earth is here. Okay. So it's this part, the radius we're looking for, okay, to determine. And well, since the moon was uh, rotating around the Earth, so there should be a cent centropical force, okay, which is mv square r, mv square over r, okay, and this is equal to the electric force, which is kq square over r square, plus the gravitational force, which is capital G times the mass of the Earth times the mass of the moon, okay? Oh, by the way, the M here should be the mass of the moon, okay? Because the moon is the target we're, look, we're um, dealing around, deal, dealing with, okay? So it should be, um, MM, okay? And then, you know, GME times GMM over the R squared. Okay, this, is, this will give us the gravitational force. So the electric force plus the gra gravitational force will give us the uh, centripetal force because when, when the moon was going around it, there is a gravitational force toward the center and also a electric force toward the center. Okay, and that's why the centripetal force is equal to these two forces. And if we do some arrangement here, I can I will show you guys how. So since you see uh, on the left side is everything over R, but on the right side is everything over R squared. What if we multiply by uh, R, let's say times R on the right side. I'm sorry, on the left side, okay? And this will give us mm v squared times r over r squared okay because i did something like this i times r here and then i times r here okay so it's the same and then this will equal to kq square over r square plus r squared on the bottom and then g M E times M M, okay. Then we can get a M M V square R is equal to K Q square plus G M E M M, and we know. The speed or the velocity here is equal to the angular velocity times the radius of the orbit. Okay. And the angular velocity is equal to the radiance, the total radiance, which is 2 pi. Because it's uh, going around the orbit, so it's kind of like a circular motion. So the total radiance should be 2 pi. Divide by the time period, okay, which is t. And this will give us V is equal to 2 pi over T times R. 
Therefore, v squared is equal to 2 pi over t square times r squared, okay, which is 4 pi squared over t squared times r squared. And then, therefore, we will have such an equation, which is mm v squared, which is 4 pi squared over t squared times r squared and then times r is equal to kq squared plus g m e times m m. Okay, and then we'll have m m times 4 pi squared over t squared times r cube is equal to kq squared plus gme times mm okay then we can move the we can leave the r cube on the left side which will give us r cube is equal to um kq squared plus G M E M M times T square over four pi square times M M. Okay, and then therefore R is equal to kq square plus g m e m m times t square over 4 pi square times m m and into the power of one third okay and therefore if we plug in the values we have R is equal to nine times ten to the power of nine Newton times meter square per coulomb square times the charge square which is one point seven six times ten to the power of fourteen coulomb square plus six point six seven times 10 to the power of a uh, negative uh, 11 times uh, newton times meter square per kilo square square and then times The mass of the Earth, in this case, is um, five point nine seven two um, times ten to the power of uh, twenty four kilograms. Okay, so that's the mass, the original mass of the Earth. Okay, but remember. A thousand kilograms electron was transferred, so we need to minus that a thousand kilograms. Oh, sorry for the spacing, um, because this equation is kind of long. So our list here, which is minus a thousand kilograms times the uh, mass of the moon, which is um, seven point three six times. 10 to the power of 22. The power of two, uh, I'm not, uh, it's, I think it's actually uh, 7.35, my bad. 7.35 times, oops, 
10 to the power of 22 kilograms, okay? But it gained 1,000 kilogram uh, electrons from the Earth, so plus 1,000 kilograms, okay? And then times the period, which is 27.5 days. And in one day, there's 24 hours. So times 24 hours. And in one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. So times 3,600 seconds. So this is the total seconds for a period. And then this whole thing here, over. Four pi square times the mass of the moon, which is 7.35 times 10 to the power of 22 kilogram plus a thousand kilograms. Okay, let me extend it here. And it's holding here. To the power of one third. Okay. And this will give us the radius of the orbit is about um, eight point four three times. 10 to the power of 8 meter. Okay, so this is my answer for this question. Thank you.